Good evening. I'm Lisa Desjardins. John Yang is away. The FBI says former President Donald Trump was the subject of an apparent assassination attempt today at his golf club in Palm Beach, Florida. Secret Service agents opened fire on a person with a gun near the spot where Trump was playing golf. His campaign says the former president is safe and back at Mar-a-Lago. After speaking with the former president, Fox host Sean Hannity reported that an AK-47 rifle was found nearby and that Secret Service acted quickly to protect Trump. The agency is investigating. A university in Springfield, Ohio today canceled all planned activities and events after it received an email threatening a potential shooting. A Wittenberg University statement said the threat especially targeted Haitian members of the community. Springfield has come under a microscope after the Trump campaign's claims without evidence of Haitian immigrants eating local pets. On Sunday morning political shows, Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance stood by those false claims here on CBS's Face the Nation. Whatever some lo a local mayor said about this case, I am hearing from dozens of constituents who are concerned about these issues. They are allowed to be concerned about these issues. And I think it's shameful how the American media ignores them. Vance also was asked about a small rally of right-wing extremist group, the Proud Boys, in Springfield yesterday. He disavowed white supremacy and said the media has the wrong focus. I am much more concerned about the vice president of the United States failing to do her job than I am that a dozen people carried the wrong flag when they were marching in Springfield, Ohio yesterday. Let's focus on the real problem. That's the vice president of the United States not doing her job. We asked a spokesman for Vance to provide the stories and evidence he says constituents have presented him of animal abuse in and around Springfield. They have not yet responded with those specifics. Rebels in Yemen fired a long-range missile into central Israel today, showing they can get past Israel's multi-tiered air defenses. A spokesman for the Houthi military, who are backed by Iran, took credit for the strike. <laughs> The missile force of the Yemeni Armed Forces, by the grace of God, carried out a special military operation targeting an Israeli military target in the area of Jaffa in occupied Palestine. The operation was executed with a new hypersonic ballistic missile. The missile landed in a rural area with no injuries reported. Israel said it made several attempts at intercepting the missile and believes it fragmented but did not destroy it. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu responded with strong words. We are in a multi-front campaign against Iran's axis of evil, which is striving for our destruction. This morning, the Houthis launched a surface-to-surface -surface missile from Yemen into our territory. They should have known by now that we were exacting a heavy price for every attempt to harm us. Also today, word that three of the Israeli hostages found dead months ago were likely killed in Gaza by an Israeli airstrike. The Israeli military made that conclusion in high probability after a months-long investigation. Overnight, at least eight people died trying to cross the English Channel from northern France in an inflatable boat. Today, French authorities stepped up beach patrols. More than 50 migrants survived the attempted crossing and received medical attention. Earlier this month, a dozen people died when their boat capsized in the channel on the way to Britain. Venezuelan officials have arrested three Americans, accusing them of plotting with the CIA to assassinate President Nicolas Maduro. State television announced a total of six foreigners were arrested and showed a cache of rifles alleged to be involved. Late yesterday, the U.S. State Department confirmed one American military member had been detained, but said any claims of a U.S. plot are categorically false. Maduro was re-elected last month in a disputed election. Still to come on PBS News Weekend, undecided voters tell us what matters as the presidential race heats up. And do celebrities matter? We look at their role in modern politics. This is PBS News Weekend from WETA Studios in Washington, home of the PBS NewsHour, weeknights on PBS.